Hi, I'm Heston Blumenthal, and I'm incredibly honoured to be one of the Royal Society of Chemistry's 175 Faces of Chemistry. Well, the weird thing is, as a kid, I never would have called myself inquisitive. In fact, it was 1985, I brought a book written by Harold McGee. He wanted to write about the science of everyday life and what was more everyday life than cooking and to certain extent eating. I do remember though, I read one bit in, in Harold's book where he said browning meat doesn't seal in the juices. Now this flew in the face of everything I'd read in classical French cooking. Anytime I'd ever seen somebody on TV saying browning the meat, it's a seal in the juices. When Harold went on to explain why it can't seal in the juices, I thought, my God, that's obvious. It was so obvious. So at this moment, this was like an epiphany for me. I just thought, my God, how many other things have I been learning in classical French cooking that I just took, took as gospel that aren't true? And then I went the other way. I just questioned absolutely everything. And it was this approach that for me, I think has helped kind of shape my, shape, shape my cooking. My chefs like to think that we're the centre of the universe. Yeah. In terms of people's eating habits, we are a little tiny pinprick. And so it's really important for me over the years to try and bring some accessibility through to everyday food. Um, and I started doing this with the writing. So the first book was family food, getting the kids involved by giving them a greater understanding of maybe where their food comes from, but also taste and flavour experiments, you know, holding your nose and letting go to see the difference. For me, I was, uh, this whole new world opened up and I wanted to pass all of that on. So, and even at the most, most simplistic way possible, so the taste and flavour experiments, writing for the, the Guardian, then went to the Times. The first series I did was searching for Discovery Channel, Kitchen Chemistry, then went on to do Perfection, which was taking everyday dishes like burger, pizza, fish and chips and putting that approach to that. And then obviously the little chef stuff and the waitrose stuff and the, the last the home book I did. And it really was trying to say, well, this, an interest in this can really make a difference. We are, as a nation, we have become more foodie than ever before. Um, so this stuff is out there and you don't have to have a nuclear physics degree to warrant to be, to, to feel justified or feel like you, uh, you've, you've got uh, permission to ask the questions. Um, experiment, that's the whole thing. And if something works, then you just want to know why and how to look it up. I mean, that, that's for me, the whole thing with science is, is going to be fantastic that way. And maybe you come at it rather than thinking you need a degree in nuclear physics and you, you think, I'll read this, and, oh, I don't understand any of this. Just experiment. And then when things start to happen, you become, well, speaking for myself, I become inquisitive. I also learnt a lot about science and scientists. And there is this perception out there that somehow scientists are men in lab coats with clipboards walking around these very sterile rooms and there's no creativity. And there's this belief that somehow scientists don't have this emotion. And it's in a funny way, I've battled this through the years of the formative years of the duck, where you say, well, okay, we're using, as you've seen some of the pieces of kit, whether it's a water bath, a rotary evaporator, whether you're using a desiccator, or you're using a distillator, or you're using a, the rocket machine, whatever it is, or even the VCF package with the, looking at the aroma molecules. That doesn't take emotion out of it. In fact, what it does, it gives you a wider palette, it gives you more control. There is a massive difference in two degrees between a piece of salmon, as you've seen. So that doesn't take the emotion out, it just gives you a better toolkit, it gives you more confidence, and it pushes you up to start everything on a higher level. Um, and I think that's, that's, for me, what I think more people need to understand about a scientific approach. That kind of the man and science combination, which I think when those two things are working in harmony, that you come up with some amazing new stuff. I left school with an A-level in art. I failed my O-level chemistry. I was scared of it, totally. But through cooking, I found this whole world, whole new solar system available to me. So do not be scared to ask questions. Chemistry is creative, it's exciting, and it's an incredible opportunity for learning.